Hello guys, Trey Face Texas Runner here. And today, tonight, because I got school tomorrow, we're doing what, what's the name of the story, Tristan? Mighty Couple Jake Short and dot dot dot. <laughs> Perfect. Because I can't. What? I can't read it. Because we're on our phones reading the story. Um, yeah. Tristan, whenever you are ready, I'm gonna. Read it. Bradley and Jake had become very good friends since they started with the series Mighty Med. Jake was going to have a party, so he invited Bradley and many other Disney actors. Bradley was really excited, so he went to the living room where their parents were. Dad, Mom, said Bradley. Yeah, said Bradley's mom. <laughs> Jake yeah. is going to have a party at his home, and I want you to go, said Bradley. Oh, Jake, your little friend, he's excellent guy. Yes, you can go, said his dad laughing. Okay, thank you. I love you. I shall go to sleep. Good night, said Bradley happily. Good night, son, replied his parents. Bradley oh. went to sleep and thought no more, though he was too excited. Next morning, he woke up and went to the kitchen to, serve, to have breakfast. His uncle from his father's side was in the hospital, so they had to go and look for after him. Bradley, could you spend the night at Jake's home? We have to go to the hospital, said his father. Yeah, I'll take Jake's, though. Bradley phoned Jake, and then he went to take a bath, and then he went to his room to dress himself. After a while, he was ready, and his father takes him to Jake's home. See you tomorrow, son, said his parents. Okay, thank you, you faggots, replied Bradley while Jake was coming. Hi, Bradley, said Jake with a huge smile. Hi, Jake, replied Bradley. Then they both entered Jake's home. It was a really big. Many friends of both were drinking soda and eating pizza. The party was really exciting. At 12 o'clock p.m., left the house the last guests. Would you like to play a video game? Asked Jake to Bradley. Yes, which one do you got? Said Bradley. Let's go to my room. Follow me, said Jake. Jake took out many video games, and they spent three and a half hours playing video games for Jake's parents before Jake's parents got home. I'm so tired, said Jake, yawning. Me too, said Bradley. Let's just let's dress in our pajamas and fall asleep, said Jake. Yeah, Bradley said. Jake went to his bathroom to brush his teeth. Bradley was very shy and didn't like others to watch him in his underwear or even shirtless, so he took off his t-shirt and then his pants, and he was wearing a black boxer brief. Jake came from the bathroom and kept his eyes on Bradley. What are you watching, said Bradley, a bit angry and blushed while throwing a pillow and hit Jake's head. Hey, don't get angry at me, my friend said Jake while taking off his shirt. I'm sorry, said Bradley, putting on his pajamas. Don't worry, haha, you're so weird, said Jake, throwing back the pillow happily. I don't like people watching me while I'm in my underwear, said Bradley, with a shy smile. But I'm your friend. I don't see a problem, said Jake. Oh my god. Yeah, maybe you're right, said Bradley. Then Jake took off his pants, though. Bradley was there. He was wearing white boxer briefs, and then he put on his pajamas and climbed to the bed. Then Bradley went to the bathroom to brush his teeth. When he returned, Jake on, on his bed. Keep in mind, guys, these are like eight-year-old kids, okay? These are like eight-year-old. Old, like 16. No, they're not. They're fucking eight. It said they were eight years old. Oh, they're, my God. Oh, my God. Then Jake took off his pants, so Bradley was there. He was wearing white boxer briefs, and then he put on his pajamas and climbed into his bed. Then Bradley went to the bathroom to brush his teeth and returned on Jake's bed. Would you like to sleep here? Asked Jake. No, there's a sofa. Thank you, asked, answered Bradley. Okay, see you tomorrow, said Jake. Yeah, replied Bradley. Two hours passed, and then Bradley, Bradley felt the sofa really wet. And then noticed that there was a bottle of water near his head. It, it was half broken. That is why all the water dropped out on him. Bradley woke up and went to Jake's bed. For his surprise, Jake was awake, and when both saw each other, they screamed, and they noticed that they were, they were just themselves. What's going on, Bradley? asked Jake. Hmm, I can't, can I sleep on your bed? The sofa's wet, said Bradley. Yeah, don't worry, the bed isn't, has enough safe for both of us, said Jake. Thank you, said Bradley, laying down on Jake's bed. They couldn't sleep and began to talk. Have you ever kissed somebody? asked Jake. Yeah. yeah, only once. It was a girl from my school. What about you, said Bradley. Yeah, many times, you know, uh, I've been having sex. Feels like amazingness, said Jake. Haha, <laughs> we are too young for that, at least... At least me. You're older, so I think you, so you can think about that," said Bradley. "What if we try it together?" said Jake. 
Hmm, I don't think it'd be a good idea, said Bradley nervously. Come on, just playing around with, without getting naked, some kisses and embraces and no more, said Jake laughing. Well, in that case, it's okay, said Bradley, kissing Jake on his mouth. <laughs> I was joking, said Jake. Oh, I'm sorry, said Bradley. Really, would you like to try it, said Jake? Well, maybe you have convinced me, said Bradley. Okay, then, said Jake, smiling. Jake took off his shirt, and then Bradley did the same. They kissed each other on the lips and laid on the bed as if they were a couple. They took off their socks and their pants, even though they already took off their freaking stuff, and they were already in what? bed in their underwear. What the fuck? <laughs> That's You're a bit fat, like said Jake, me. laughing. <laughs> they they like reclothed each other, <laughs> and then just <laughs> no, took them off again. Layers. They they wear two layers of clothing. <laughs> they wear two layers of clothing. I like your second pair of shorts. Thanks, yours too. <laughs> anyway, continue with the story. You're a bit fat, said Jake, laughing. And you're a bit too slim, replied Bradley. Jake said Bradley and took his legs until so com shaky. coming to his boxers and took them off, watching Bradley's penis and touching it. Now oh. it's your turn. Take off my boxer, said Jake. Okay, said Bradley. Bradley's eyed Jake, Jake's form, his head to his toes, and then took his boxers off. He watched his friend's naked body with anxiety and put his two fingers in Jake's tight until coming to his penis. Okay, <laughs> you will do it first, said Jake, putting his legs on Bradley's shoulders. Bradley started jacking off until his penis was erect. Then he began to touch Jake's anus with his middle finger, and then he thrust it inside and it felt very warm. Jake was enjoying that. Then Bradley spread his hole. It was small and pink and had a few hair for Jake was older than Bradley and was nine years old. Then Bradley thrust his dick into his friend's hole very, very carefully. Jake didn't scream, but he, but he bid. Bradley was fucking him softly, didn't scream, but he bid. At the, Bradley was fucking him softly at the beginning, but then he started harder and harder. Jake was very happy and enjoyed that until the end. Jake was very happy and... Oh, it's fucking repeating double lines. What the hell? Until the end. When Bradley finished, he rubbed Jake, sucking all the semen from his anus, and then kissed Jake on the lips. Oh my Fuck. god. <laughs> now it was Jake's turn, so Bradley laid down on the bed and put his legs on Jake's shoulders. They were, bo they were a bit heavy for him because Bradley was taller and heavier. Though that Jake began to touch Bradley's erect penis and sucked it, and then he touched his anus and spread it softly. It had no hair because Bradley was still young. Softly, and <laughs> he was a young little boy. He has been—he had been eight years old. He had just turned eight on November. His hole was so hard to spread it because it was so small, and also it was pink. His buttocks were too soft. Jake enjoyed touching them, and after thrusting his middle finger on Bradley's hole, he began to jack him off. When his dick was erect enough, he thrusted it in Bradley's hole carefully. Bradley felt tickles instead of pain. He was enjoying it. While Jack was fucking him, he was, he finished rimming. Bradley sucking all the semen. After that, Bradley dressed on Jake's boxers, and Jake did the same with Bradley's. Then they lived there in the bed, slept in the underwear, and in the morning, they woke up and took a bath together. Jake's parents arrived. They enjoyed it, touching each other and wa washing their holes one to each other, and they finished and put their put their clothes back on. After an hour, Jake's parents came and, and so did Bradley's, and they both returned home. The end. <laughs> they an eight-year-old and a nine-year-old. What? It's an eight-year-old and a sixteen-year-old. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Is it Our support. And his name is John C. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Are you Hi. Hi. This was the worst story I've ever listened to, and this is probably the last time I'm gonna ever listen to this shit. I'll catch a video ball. Shut up. <laughs> this video was it's freaking so disgusting. I bad. <laughs> it's but next time so... it's my turn reading it, and Tristan gets to pick it out. Yay! Tristan, well, this is the worst thing. This is the worst series you guys have ever done. I did this... the Harry Potter fanfic and Trey read it, so you know. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Are we okay. done rolling? No. Uh, anyway, check out guys. my channel, Digital X Sniper 9 Gaming. It will be in the link below. So we'll yeah, just... don't subscribe to that because he's gay. Don't...
Like, yeah, I like sucking them big dicks. Yeah. Turns out like that, that story guy, was real, like and Bradley. it was him and Trey that were doing that stuff the entire time. <laughs> exactly. And like, I posted Bradley. it all on YouTube, just for you all to see. Posted it on Reddit for the faggots to read. <laughs> and on fan fiction for all the faggots to read. Alright, let's end this. I'm done. Let's end it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this has been Cherry Face Fiction Hard to Hear. Remember, if you got to go, go. Peace, guys. Are we done? Wait.